All right, folks, you'll remember, um, I sort of forgot one area here, but I'm going to go back to it. You'll see that I've already got the insulation in the roof, but um, I'm going to go back in. If you'll remember in video number three, I cut out a top portion of the roof ledge, and I told you that later on we would be using that. Well, now is later on. Uh, you'll see that piece there. I've, I've taken it. If you go back to video three, I'll put a link up at the top to that you'll see that piece is attached to the side of the trailer uh, I'm now taking in a marking on the side of the trailer where the spars are for each of those pieces um, and then I'm going to cut those out cut out the spar sections out of that piece those will be thrown away and all of the pieces that are in the middle will be using all right, you'll see here I'm cutting those pieces um, out of the spars. I'm taking the small part of the spar and I'm cutting it out and I'm leaving the pieces that will go in between the two spars uh, for each of the sections there. And this will take a little bit of fitting because you've got some angles to deal with there. But I cut out each of the pieces and I'm using PL Premium too then reattach those pieces back in between the spars and then um, this will give us something that we can attach our trim to and it adds structure uh, along that edging and you can see here uh, up along this edge here after we got all that stuff glued in and the glue's had a good time to set we put clamps on it it's had time to set and you can see it's sitting a little proud of the outside wall edge there what was our original profile but we'll trim that off in the next step and it'll be taken care of this here is us fitting the spar in the back this is a uh, laminated two laminated one by two oak spars that we're using here for the back spar the reason we use those is that the oak spars are a lot uh, a lot more, uh, they're a lot more dense, it's a lot tougher wood than the um, pine that we're using for the rest of the spars and that spar needs to have a lot of support to it because it's going to support the hatch hinge which is what the hatch will uh, pivot off of in the back so we use oak for that, I guess you could use other woods depending on what you have available in the area and uh, this here is me pre-drilling the holes for each of the screws. I use two inch screws uh, in each of the, the ends of the spars there. I pre-drilled those and countersunk those because they'll need to be flush because in the next step you'll be putting the uh, skin over the top of these areas here. You'll see one other detail here is we had to drill this hole underneath this spar. Uh, the wires will come in through the back there. They go just underneath that spar, sort of skirting the edge of the cabinets on the inside, and they'll come out that spar uh, towards the back, towards you here, and that will connect later to the hatch. After we get the edge pieces glued in in between the spars, inevitably there's going to be a little extra thickness there that needs to be cut off. So I took the jigsaw and went and cut that all the way down. And then once I was done with that, I took the sander and went back and belt sanded everything down smooth and that made it nice and flush around the edges. And one thing we did right before we got ready to put the last little bit of insulation, the top half inch foil insulation, was I would like to go back and take pictures of all just kind of overalls to show the dimensions. That way if later on I need to look at some of the uh, roof framing or the side framing I can go back in and I've got measurements that I can look at that and be able to um, if I need to drill any holes or avoid any wires or make sure I hit wall framing I've got a little bit of a point of reference to see what is um, after we took measurements of all the structural components and the wiring inside of the walls the next step was to put the final top layer of insulation uh, because of the thickness of the roof being an inch and a quarter, we needed the purple stuff that we used was a three-quarter inch rigid foam 
uh, insulation and then we put a top layer of half inch uh, exp uh, expanded polystyrene that's the little bits of white um, round bits of foamy looking uh, insulation and we put that on top it's got the foil backing on it um, this worked out to give this the right thickness if your roof is a little bit thicker you might need to use three quarter and three quarter for an inch and a half total but for us this is what worked out uh, somehow I managed not to get any video or photos of that I don't know what happened there but it's basically the same process go in and cut the panels to fit put them in all of the holes uh, and then you're you're done with that uh, this is the last step that we do right before we cover the roofing up with the uh, um, roofing um, we'll be using eighth inch material for that to go around the curves and to be our, our outside wood structure so um, this is about it for this part of the video if uh, you enjoyed the video please give me a, a like and upvote on that and share the video with your friends also consider subscribing to my channel this helps me continue to produce these videos and if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments section and uh, you can check out my blog dadrambles.com also check me out on Instagram and Facebook I post other photos and videos and stuff there that I don't necessarily cover here so there's a little tidbits of information there that you can uh, get from the the uh, build, the build uh, video and from the, the photos that I post there so anyways thanks for watching